Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all having a great day so far. A few people have asked me in the past recent days on which mining parts they would need to get started in cryptocurrency mining. I thought this would be a great video to go through all of the parts needed for mining in, in the month of May 2019, but hopefully this video will still help for some people in the next couple months, assuming parts you know don't change or will be discontinued but as of now uh, let's go through some parts so I have a store on amazon.com and if you go to amazon.com slash shop slash red panda mining you will see my little storefront here and then you can click on parts needed for a mining rig and once you click on that it'll take you to a list here that I have put together on Amazon and we can go through, we're going to go through all of it here so you guys know what you're getting. So to start off, you'll need to get a, let's go, let's go start off with the processor and the motherboard. So for example, the staple motherboard that we've used in the past year, two years is the ASRock H110 uh, Pro BTC Plus board. So this board can do up to 13 GPUs. Super reliable board. Everyone praises this board. I have one myself. I, it hasn't died in the past two years. Amazon still sells it for 50 bucks right now, 50 bucks USD. And that is honestly a, a really good price. And the, it supports the seventh or sixth gen Intel uh, processors. So you can either get, you know, one of these ones that I've recommended, either the G3930 uh, or the G. Uh, 4560. Now, in my opinion, I would be going for the G4560 processor because this one has the uh, two core plus hyper threading. So essentially, it has four cores, uh, essentially, but it has hyper threading. But the G3930, if you if you can't get your hands on a, a G4560 processor. Which is a which is the Skylake seventh gen CPU Pentium CPU. Uh, you can get then the G thirty nine thirty Celeron seventh gen processor, uh, which is only dual core. There's no hyper threading, so there's only essentially only two cores. So if you can't get your hands on the Pentium uh, G forty five sixty, then you can get the G thirty nine thirty, and if you want the best motherboard, in my opinion, the H110 Pro BTC Plus. Uh, so I'm going to go now through, if you cannot get your hands on these three items, and you have to go for the latest motherboards. So example, if you just want to go for like the latest Z370 boards, you know, like gaming motherboards, ATX size, uh, where you can have six or seven GPUs if you have the M.2. So the staple, the most staple gaming motherboard, I guess, in the past has been the Asus Prime Z, Z Asus Prime series boards. So now the latest one that they have is the Prime Z370-A, uh, but it's $150. And then uh, let's just go into it. And then you can see that this board has... Uh, so plus the M.2 adapter, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you can put eight. So you can have eight GPUs on this board because it has the seven PCIe slots, and then it's got the one M.2 slot where you can add the M.2 to PCIe adapter. So you can have eight risers, eight GPUs on this board, and it will help. Yeah. So. Uh, but the, the price is steep though, $150, plus you have to buy an 8th gen CPU, not a 7th or 6th gen Skylake. You have to go for the Coffee Lake piece, uh, Coffee Lake processor. So the one I would recommend is the Gold, Pentium Gold G5400, and this one has hyper-threading hyper -threading as well. So two cores plus hyper-threading, so four-way multitasking. And this one will go for about $78.34 right now. So yeah, if you want to buy newer edge motherboard compared to the older edge, you know, 7th gen uh, compatible mining motherboard, which is much cheaper, 40, 50 bucks right now. So 
yeah, take that as you will. If you can't get your hands on these, then you can go for the you know Asus Prime board plus a newer one. Okay, so processor motherboards out the way. Now let's go talk about RAM you would need for your mining rig. Now the one I would recommend getting is the eight gigabyte. Uh, oh, I have a sixteen gigabyte here, so let's go type in Corsair eight gigabyte. Ah, okay, so for forty bucks. For forty bucks, I gotta I gotta edit that later, so I'll edit that I'll edit that on my list later. The Corsair Vengeance LPX eight gigabyte DDR4 2400 megahertz C16 RAM. This is all you need: eight gigabytes of RAM on your mining rig, and yeah, this is a solid this is a solid RAM. I use Corsair Vengeance this exact one on probably six of my rigs right now, and it's just solid. So that's one of my recommendations uh, for that. And now let's go ahead and look at the SSD. So you can buy SSDs for real cheap on Amazon right now. Uh, let's say Kingston 240 gigabyte for 30 bucks. That's that's really all you need. Uh, it depends if you're going to be running Windows or you know if you're going to run Hive OS uh, or Simple Mining OS. You can also use a USB stick as well. Uh, in my opinion, in my experience, in my past troubleshooting and stuff. I, I just prefer SSDs. They work out really well and if you need to uh, burn the image on an SSD you can also get this uh, SATA to USB cable which uh, it's seven bucks. Oh no, eleven bucks. The one I the one I have specifically is the StarTech one SATA to USB cable so you can plug your SSD in there, plug it into your computer and then you can use Rufus or etcher to burn the ISO onto the SSD. So pretty slick system. You can use that as well. I'll I'll put I'll add this on my uh, parts list later. Uh, yeah, if you want, if you guys want to look at this, it's just Amazon.com/shop/redpandamining. I'll have a link in the description as well. Okay, next up, you will need if you're doing the conventional way of mining rig, uh, you will need uh, risers. So the classic risers you would need is the ubit risers and all of the crypto miners praise this brand i also praise it as well i still have not had one pcie riser from ubit die yet i have a lot of these i probably have like a good uh, 60 or 70 of them running right now and I, I swear by these by these risers they're just really good 37 37 bucks right now for a pack of six and a nice feature is that you get some little Ubit Velcro straps as well as the USB and the PCIe. And then I would recommend to use the uh, six pin PCIe power or if you can't do that then you would go ahead and use the four pin Molex uh, if, you, if, you can't, if you can't do the PCIe uh, power. So that's the riser. Now you will need a frame, a mining frame. You can just go ahead get one of these uh, Veta frames if you'd like. These are really, really solid. This is the uh, eight GPU mining frame. Actually, you know what? Let me just go Veta. And yes, so here it is. The professional eight GPU miner case aluminum stackable for $28.99. Such a good deal. Solid, solid mining frame. And there's also a six GPU bay uh, one that I, I would maybe start out first if you're doing six GPUs uh, it's it's 40 bucks so it costs it costs more than the eight GPU one so uh, in my opinion I would probably go for the eight GPU case but this one is also very nice it's very light as well uh, as people have said I, I don't have one personally but it's uh, one that is recommended by a lot of people so check that out the Veta minor case T2 or the Veta 8 GPU case, uh, mining mining case, mining rig frame. Okay, then next up you would need a power supply. So you would go depend. It really depends which 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 um, uh, video cards you're gonna go for. So I have listed here an 850 watt thermal take for 105 dollars, or a 1200 watt uh, thermal take, uh, which platinum, which is 190 dollars. So I have two cards listed here. I have the 1660 Ti and the RX 570. And uh, let's just go. I'm going to go through the video cards last. 
Uh, I did want to go through this little adapter here. So this is a uh, UBIT 4-in-1 PCIe riser splitter adapter uh, board. So you can basically, you're, you're able to put four risers, PCIe risers, into this one, into four USB, into one PCIe. So let's say you had an older PC, like a really old i3, i5 machine, like a Dell, HP refurbished, something, just an old PC. And you don't have enough PCI slots to do eight GPUs or something, or six GPUs even, or if you had a ITX motherboard or an MATX motherboard, you can just get this little adapter, 25 bucks, you plug it into your motherboard and you can essentially add four GPUs uh, for mining onto your onto your older computer, older motherboard. And yeah, really, really, really solid thing to use, really good if you need one. I have one of these myself in a server case and it works really well. So if you need to split GPUs, uh, or if you can't, uh, if you don't have enough PCIe slots, you just go ahead and get one of these. Uh, so yeah, UBIT 4-in-1 PCIe riser. And 26 bucks, yeah. So I have that on the list there. You guys can all check that out. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about uh, one more thing I forgot to mention is mining motherboards. So when you do a, uh, an Amazon search for mining motherboards, you will get a whole bunch of different options, such as the Asus B250, which is also a really good board. It's $55. Uh, the Gigabyte GA-B250 FinTech board is also really good. This one does uh, 12 GPUs as well, but it's 60 bucks. I, I, I recommend this board as well, as long as, as well as the ASRock one. Um, so you can't go wrong with uh, most of these mining motherboards, but I, I would go ahead with the Gigabyte, ASRock, or Asus boards. So that's just the uh, one thing to look out for if you guys are looking for motherboards. I forgot to mention that earlier. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is graphic cards. Okay, so if you are new and you are looking for a couple graphic cards to start out with, in my personal opinion, you would either go for RX 570s, uh, used. I would buy these used in my opinion. Depends on your location, depends on uh, that kind of thing basically. And on eBay right now, they really go for under $100. Uh, these are just recently sold on eBay.com. So $100, $105, $95, uh, $115, RX 570, 8 gigabyte cards. Really, you can't, you can't go wrong with RX 570s. They're really staple for uh, mining Ethereum or uh, Monero, which is uh, a different hash rate, Kryptonite R at the moment. And uh, if you don't want to go AMD, you can also go uh, NVIDIA. And in my opinion, right now, I would be going for the MSI GTX 1660 Ti card. This card is actually really, really efficient right now. Uh, I'm going to give you guys an example. So let's say this is all in USD. So say you bought three RX 570, eight gigabytes for 100 bucks each. You buy three of them for 300 bucks. Or you can get a 1660 Ti for 300 bucks plus tax. So a little bit more for the brand new 1660 Ti because it's brand new. Uh, I guess for eBay, you also have to pay for shipping. So maybe it'll end up the same. So now let's just go to coin calculators. Now, for example, we're gonna calc we're gonna enter in our hash rates ourselves. So for ETH hash, uh, we're gonna put three RX 570s at at 30 mega hash each. So for 90 mega hash total here, and about 120 watts each card, or 110 watts plus 50 or 60 watts for the motherboard and uh, and other stuff. So. 400 watts system total, 90 watts mega hash on Ethereum. So let's hit calculate. And we are going to get, you can get uh, mining profitability on three of those cards right now, RX 570s. You're after 10 cents a kilowatt hour, depending on your electrical cost, but you know, 10 cents is the average right now. Uh, you're going to be making about 30 to 31 cents after your electrical costs. If you had free electricity, if you don't care about that and you have free electricity, then by all means, you'll be making $1.27 and the RX 570s would be the way to go if you had free electricity. But if you had to pay for your electricity right now, you'd be making a do, uh, 31 cents. Now, I wanted to show you the 1660 Ti comparison. Now, the 1616 Ti can get around 18 to 25 to 20 hash, 
20 mega hash on x16r the hash rate really varies because there's 16 different algorithms in ravencoin right now so the most profitable coin at the moment of making this video for the 1660 ti is ravencoin x16r and it gets about 75 watts super efficient card super duper efficient hit calculate and would you look at that if you oh it looks like bitcash is the most profitable but example it just is this is just an example if you're mining ravencoin on the 1660 ti you would be making 38 cents after your 10 cent kilowatt hour so if you had free electricity then you'd be making only 0.56 uh, 0.56 um, uh, money after after so in terms of free electricity if you had free electricity then go 570s but if you had to pay for your electricity I would go for the 1660 ti because as you see here 38 cents versus the calculate versus the 30 cents or 29 cents on ethereum uh, your your profitability on the rx 570s it's <laughs> as at the moment of the making this video you know the 1660 ti is pro most profitable at the moment if you are calculating daily if you're not calculating daily and you're just mining the coin that you like then whatever i just said in the past couple minutes about regarding the 570 and 1660 ti does not matter so take that as you will guys I just showed you that information it's take that as you will if you're if you're doing it by daily profits and you have to pay electricity uh, or you have to sell your crypto at the end of every month to pay the electricity then that 1660 ti could be for you but uh, if not then the 570s would be very nice um, another thing to think about is you're having the smaller footprint uh, because you're getting you know you're getting a little bit more profitability on the 1660 Ti, but uh, bigger footprint if you're having more cards. So that comes with more heat, uh, takes up more space. Uh, you need more motherboards and CPUs and rigs and frames and whatnot. You got to cost calculate all that kind of stuff. So it really depends on your situation. Not financial advice, whatever, all that stuff, guys. So take that as you will. It's just some information. Please do your own research, um, all that stuff. So let me know what you think, guys. So, yeah. So that's just all the parts, guys. If you are starting out in a mining rig, uh, you can also buy a lot of used stuff on eBay or Craigslist. In my opinion, buying the hardware in terms of, of you know, risers, CPUs, motherboards, RAM, SSDs. I would just I would just go ahead and buy that brand new. It's pretty cheap anyway. Frames, power supplies, and video cards. You can get that used. So take that as you will. All that good stuff. Okay, guys. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. This was a bit of a long video, but I hope maybe some of you have learned something or gathered some info information about this. Let me know if it helped you down below in the comments and all that good stuff. So. Like and subscribe, all the good stuff, guys. I appreciate all of you who watch me day in and day out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.